Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever woken up with that dreaded twinge in your low back, or struggled to bend over and tie your shoes, or even just reached out for that coffee cup and totally spasmed your back? Well, if you had any of these, then you are not alone. These are all common symptoms of low back pain, a condition that affects millions of people every day. In fact, a 2018 report by the Global Pain Index estimated 20% of the world's population affected by chronic pain. That's right, 1.6 billion people. So let's work on bringing that number down together. Your experience with low back pain may not be the same as the next person, depending on your condition's root cause and its severity. Your situation may be unique, so there's no one-size-fits-all solution that applies to all people. That's why I'm trained at the highest possible level to do my job as a pain management physician. The symptoms that are amongst the most frequently encountered are discomfort in the low back, which can be anything from a mild ache to excruciating agony, which is the most prominent system, this symptom. There can be localized effects or widespread sensation. Stiffness, low back pain sufferers also suffer and describe a feeling of stiffness and having trouble moving their back, especially first thing in the morning or after prolonged periods of sitting. Limitations in mobility. Low back pain might make it difficult to bend over, reach up, twist, all of which are necessary for the completion of routine daily tasks. Muscle spasms. If you've had low back pain and your muscles may spasm, which can only make things worse. Numbness and tingling. Some persons with low back pain also report a tingling or numb feeling in their legs, their hips, or even their feet. Weakness is another symptom. Low back pain can be indicative and induce leg and foot weakness, making it difficult to walk or even just stand up. Herniated discs, spinal stenosis, and arthritis are other conditions that can play a role in triggering these symptoms. That's why getting a correct diagnosis and treatment plan for your low back pain is so important. But you don't have to let these symptoms bring you down. I'm here to share some key information on how to achieve low back pain relief and how to alleviate these symptoms. Now, let's be honest. Low back pain can be a real pain in the back. And if it persists, it's important to seek medical treatment. Don't just ignore the signs. Chronic low back pain can have a serious impact on your daily life and overall well-being. That's why seeking low back pain relief through proper treatment is crucial. Whether it's physical therapy, chiropractic care, or even some gentle stretching and exercises, there's plenty of options available that we will discuss later. So don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare professional or local pain management doctor if your symptoms persist. Or you can contact my office to help as well performance pain and sports medicine. Okay, we've spoken about the symptoms of low back pain. Next, we'll look at the causes of this pain so that together we can conquer your back pain and get your pain relief so you can get back to feeling your best.